Welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Ricky. Last time, we took on the final boss of Volcano Manor, although we didn't win. And then we headed over to the Halig Tree, and we got a little bit further over there. And today, we are going to continue with the Halig Tree stuff. But before we get over there, we have some unfinished business here in a Divine Tower. And just FYI, before we get started, yes, I did kill the weird serpent guy. Rikard, whatever. I did kill him. It took me like eight or nine more tries, it felt like. Ultimately, it was a terrible boss fight once again. Anyway, he's dead now, so it's fine. And also, that weird lady from Volcano Manor is feasting on his corpse. Also, I collected... There are a lot of uh, dead things here. Also, I collected a... Uh... Um... I collected all of the golden seeds that I need to get my flasks uh, to their maximum. I'm currently at nine crimson tears and five cerulean tears, which is 14 total. We're here because apparently, I found this out literally today, the godskin apostle is here as well. So, uh, we got a revenge on the godskin noble, that's the fatty. This is the skinny boy, but also I thought I already killed him because... He's a field boss way up in uh, Atlas Plateau by the windmills. And I kind of thought that was his only thing. And then I discovered he's here. So we're going to kill him here. Come on. There we go. Yes. Beautiful. I also have a new um, talisman that will, uh... oh, I probably shouldn't have been anywhere near that, but that's fine. He's now doing a weird skinny attack. It's fine. He's about to die. He died. It's cool. Ooh, hang on. Wait. <laughs> Let me activate my uh, more soul mode. That's not enough souls to level up. Well, that sucks. That was... That was a fun little bit of revenge. That was significantly easier than, uh, than the, um, than the gods can do a boss fight. I guess they all have been. God Slayer Greatsword. Wait, I can wield this thing? What stats does it need? Ah, 20, 22, and 20. Okay, that's why I can wield it. It does fire damage and physical damage. And way more importantly, what's its thing? Which is... Eh... It's not as good as mine. It's also way heavier. This Divine Tower sucks. It sucks so much. It's basically terrible platforming the Divine Tower. Uh, it's awful platforming getting to uh, the top so you can activate uh, Redan over there somewhere, wherever he was. That direction. That general direction. His stupid great, uh, his stupid great rune. Uh, and then getting to that boss fight was a pain in the butt that I'm so glad I did before I started recording. There's some dragons down there. So I was trying to talk about this. I got a new talisman that when I kill an enemy, I get health back. It's not a lot of health. It's not going to be really useful against like bosses and stuff. But, uh, you know, when you combine it with the fact that I have um, the talisman that uh, as I do damage, I might get health. I have this, which restores H. This is the new one. This is the Taker's Cameo. And it restores HP upon defeating enemies. I also have this, which is successive attacks restore HP, so every so often I get HP for doing, you know, getting, attacking. And then over here, I have critical hits restore HP. So basically, I have three talismans, and their whole point is to restore health. Have I talked about this place yet? This is my favorite farming place, because it's everyone's favorite farming place. It's not exactly necessarily the best place to farm, but it's certainly the easiest place to farm with the highest reward. These guys are easy to kill even early in the game. Like, when I first came over here, um, I could almost one-shot them with my uh, twin blade or even the swords when we were still using swords, which we transitioned during the uh, stuff that didn't record properly, unfortunately. Like, I didn't get to properly transition that weapon in the let's plays just kind of like this real abrupt like hey i have the twin blade so i am gonna real quick level up here but i love this because over killing them i get 1500 souls and if i don't overkill them i only get 1300 souls but let me just tell you that's not as good as overkilling used to be but overkilling is also weird because 
if I do the blood blade dance, but I don't completely kill him, but I knock him into the uh, uh, repostable state, and then I kill him, I get 1,500 souls. It's weird. Anyway, I'm going to real quick do this, and then... We're gonna jump to the Haley tree. So I finished farming, and since last time I put Vigor up to 45, I only leveled up twice. But also, I don't know if I've talked about this. I appear to have hit the uh, soft gap for Arcane because at 45 Arcane, I had a fairly big boost to the damage of my pole blade and the incant scaling of my sacred seal. Put it up to 47, and it was such a drastic drop off that I'm clearly thinking 45 might be the hard caps for this game instead of 40, which is what it is in every other Dark Souls game. Nevertheless, still putting points into health. That's a decent amount of health, I guess. I don't know. And I'm at level 160, which is pretty cool. Here we are. If you were wondering if those stupid mages respawn, they do. I guess they fully expect you to beat this boss on the first try, but that just seems ridiculous. All right. So, Luto the Headless. Yeah, it's not great if I have to spend the entire time dodging the swords. So, but honestly, I kind of think... What I really don't like is how agile she is on her horse, but I guess I can't entirely complain um, unless the game's going to let me. Also, please stop using your stupid daggers. It's terrible. Can, her, can she come off her horse? Things I do not know. Oof. Okay. Now, I will tell you, the last time I fought her... Uh, in spectral form over in the uh, Karia Manor um, I uh, do not know why she is going after me and not him so much oh I'm out of magic oh no 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 that is way too many swords that is too many that is too many swords that was bullcrap game I'm sorry what oh my good lord so what is the point of me that would explain why I had so little magic because I drank my stupid thing too soon. Okay, so what I should have done the first time was this. Got her scarlet rotted up. Oh, of course. And dead. I mean, look how much health I have. Honestly, this should do more damage. I mean, I should, I should be able to heal more. There we go. Okay. So, now... Don't know if it actually hit her. Yeah, hit hit Lutel. Lutel's a tank. That's exactly why I use Lutel, by the way. Because Lutel's a tank. There we go. Okay. All it took was uh, Scarlet Rot. That's all it took. I should have. I shouldn't have been wasting my time doing anything else. Loretta's mastery. Loretta's war sickle. Achievement and thirty. 312,000 runes, which is probably still not enough to level up twice. No, what? Jerk! How? Hang on. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I want to rate this. Poor. Yes. Okay, look. Hey, look what I can do. Hey, look what I can do now. Oh, there's still a freaking message on it. Who is appraising this message? And Okay, you know what? The appraisal went up, so obviously, people are appraising it negatively. And I think you should be insta-killed when you have a negative message. I can level up once. Still, I'm only going to put it into put it into health at this point. So, I sold some runes and some other crap I'd farmed, and now we are leveling up for the second time, and we'll have no souls to lose when we head into the next area. Also, if you're wondering what it would be like to wear the godskin outfit, it looks like this. This is really gross and disgusting. Also, there's a head on the back. And I'm not 100% certain if that's not an actual, like, face. Because they are called God Skin. Which makes me think that they're literally wearing the skin of some god they killed. There's also a face on the hood. This is weird. This is a weird outfit. Seriously, why can they put a message on the side of Grace? That feels like a massive oversight that someone should probably get fired for. So I think, I think Loretta was the final boss of the first half of the Halig Tree. And then we're going to enter a second section of the Halig Tree where uh, 
the final boss of that area is apparently an actual literal nightmare. Where does this go? Down. Should I be going down? Down feels like not the direction to go. Okay, down might have been the way to go. Is this, this is the second Halig Tree uh, dungeon. The legacy dungeon. The first one was the annoying tree part. This part looks like it has less trees. We're going to go back up because there's more to explore upstairs. Ooh, ancient dragon smithing stone. Again, that would be really useful if any weapon I was using needed the regular smithing stones to get put to 25. But literally nothing I have uses that. So... Uh, if this gets really frustrating, um, and it might, I will, uh, come back and do this, uh, and then, yeah, okay. Oof. Dude, how are you that weak to crits? That was a lot of souls, though. I'm gonna have to remember that, because that doesn't take very long to kill. Come up here. Did the guy just suicide bomb me? Bye. He did not die. He's gonna he's gonna be very pissed off when he comes up here. The music is getting a little intense, meaning that someone's probably trying to attack me right now. Ow. That was a absolute disaster. Would you thankfully just turn around? Yikes. Oh, you're up here. Okay, hang on. Get some health back while I'm at it. Oh, yeah, someone was trying to kill me. Multiple health backs with that one because I got the crit. And I got to kill him, which gave me health. I'm just going to shoot you with my bow. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm killing you. Also, I'm at 43,000 souls. Well, that sucked. I was hoping to get a crit still. There's also a tree branch up there, but tree branches are like death. So there's always the chance that maybe I'm supposed to climb across that tree branch to get somewhere. Yeah, up there. I can get up there. There's a bell. Okay, we're going up there. My tune just changed real fast on that tree branch. We're going to come over from this angle. Aha! Got on the tree branch. No, there actually is an item over here. Oh, and one of the uh, minor Erd tree bosses. Uh -huh. Way down there. That seems like fun. This feels like, uh, ooh, actually, it's not connected to that. So we're going to go down here. There are a lot of, like, dead things down here. Um... That's never, ever not worrying. So either these people just fell off. Yeah, I'm thinking they fell off. Okay, contraption does not move. Welp. My options are to jump down there or to go back on the tree branch. You know, this is very much reminiscent of the capital. It's currently covered in ash. Because someone set the uh, herb tree on fire or whatever. Ah, uh, it's even more than it already was. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing... They're supposed to be connected in some way, shape, or form. I don't know what that way is. Oh, hello. I'm going to lure you over here with free lightning bolts. Wow. I did a lot of damage with a lightning bolt with his shield up. No. <laughs> okay. So, hello. I think you guys are uh, waiting to trap... I think this is a trap. This feels like a trap. You know what? I don't know if this is going to work. But I'm going to cast this. Well, hey, well, it got him out here, didn't it? Jerk. No. No. No, game. You cannot have the mini boss attack me. I don't know what you thought was about to happen. But it wasn't what it was about to happen. Yeah, also, the mini-boss cannot be attacking me from down here. I'm just saying. He just can't. 
Whoa! Jerks. Get over here. Oh, that sucked, but okay. Yeah, whatever. Alright, you both died. Good for you guys. So I have three of these. So, in we go. This is probably going to be a complete waste of my time, but why not? Triple rings of light. Okay, so that, I think, is an incantation. It is. That I can't use because it requires intelligence. Stop making incantations require intelligence. I'm at 70,000 souls. <laughs> I started this area with 74. You guys not freaked out by the dead guy that's right next to you? Oh, apparently not. No, apparently not. Uh, this seems bad. This seems like a bad thing. Let's let's fight them one by one. I think he's trying to attack me. But he's too far away to actually hit me. I think his AI is screwed up, which is fascinating. Well, that sucked. You... What? Thank you. How did this person die? I want to see how this person died. Boy, I hope that person, you know, was stabbed by one of the guys in this room and didn't just experience the weirdest physics glitch in uh, the entire history of video games. Yeah! That dude just tried. Weird. Bye. Yep, he died. Boom. Boom. This guy's just kind of like, what was that all about? That was weird, right? Apparently he had not noticed me. Bye. Bye. I like this. Nope, you have to get up too. Pretty sure that guy was going to ambush me. Just a premeditated attack. This felt like a trap. Yeah, that felt like a trap. That wasn't the one I wanted to hit. Oh, come on. What was that? That is crap game. So I'm a... Just real quick, make my way back there. Because screw you, you're not taking my souls away from me. So I just killed these guys right here, and I'm at 11,000 souls. And all I did was kill the four enemies, the first four enemies you come across. So this is the guy I had to blast with lightning. Did some weird stuff. No. It does seem a little bit mean that the game is doing this. Oh, that's what he was trying to do. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. This is a large part of why I had so many souls, right? Because this is like 7,000 souls. Mm-hmm. That was a case of the game deciding that it did not want me to roll the way, and instead I needed to complete all the hits that I had queued up. Bye. Okay, now, where, where are my runes? Why are my runes down here? This is not where I died. Hello, come on over here. No, that's not what I wanted to hit. All right, well. <laughs> Let's hope I kill him before he kills me. These guys drop smithing stones. That would be amazing to know if, you know, again, I had anything I needed to smith up in any way, shape, or form. So, um, I can see them. They can't hit me, but the one that's up there might be able to. There's some over there. They can see me. I can kind of see them. One more point into Vigor. 
Um, one more point after this, and we're probably not going to put Vigor up too much more. I think 50 Vigor is probably pretty solid. So I think, I think we've killed all of the God Skin bosses in the game. There's some Spirit ones I killed. Obviously the Volcano Manor, the one way up by the Windmill, the Duo. I'm pretty sure we've killed all of them now. I hope we have at least. We also took out Loretta and finished up the first half of the Halig Tree nonsense, and we made it to the second half where... Uh, we ran into a bunch of stupid, like, ballista nonsense, and honest to god, I'm probably gonna need to do that before next time. Either way, next time we will still be here. This has been Elden Ring. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Elden Ring.